Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Barnyard, the original Party Animals, the video game, whatever the heck it's called. Last time we did stuff. I don't even remember because it's been like five days since I recorded. A raccoon problem? The raccoons love to steal the eggs from the chicken coop. I want you to stand guard and squirt any raccoons. Don't lose more than ten eggs. So this is like a mixture of sharp squatter and chasing chicks, I believe is what it's called. It's called Chicken Coop Defender. I really don't like this mini game because I really don't find it to be fun. And it's actually a bit challenging. Okay, so there are going to be a couple pieces of broken fence. Goodbye, Mr. Raccoon. All right. Hey there. Drink milk. Drink lots of milk, even though it gives you acne, because it's been giving me acne, because I didn't really have much while I was in, uh, while I was down at college, and now I do again, because I also didn't drink any milk down there anyway. Or I drink very little milk. Goodbye. Alright, we're now through a fourth of the night. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Goodbye. Okay, I think in the later version of this, you can uh, get hurt by the raccoons. Or that might be when the coyotes come as well. So I believe you can get hurt in the later versions. Alright, let's get rid of you. Looks like one of them's gonna get close to the coop. Yeah, one of them made it in. Crap. It's not good. Uh oh, where is he? Get back here! I'll take the egg. This actually isn't a bad idea, though, to let an egg or two get taken like that. Because you can throw it and get like 20 points. So you about have to do that, I think, to get a good score, is let one or two eggs go sort of far enough away that you can pull that off. Because right now we've only gotten 47 points, and literally like a third of our points have been from that throwing that one egg out or back. And now shouldn't that like break the eggs? I'm just saying, I feel like that should have broken the eggs. And we almost did it without losing an egg, though, which is great. At least the farmer will only lose an egg or two. Won't realize they're gone, most likely. And we win. Got it. 57 points. I hope that's enough for a star. I don't remember what the uh, requirements for a star are for this game. Alright, we got one. That's good. Okay, I'm not number one, but that's partially because I didn't throw any eggs back, or I only threw one back. But you know, that's okay. I did still very well. I got my star. That's what matters. Let's go. I have something special for you. You did a great job tonight. The hens can sleep better with you around. The key to the South Path Gate. Nice. We're not going to go there just yet. We need to go through the, uh, crap, what's it called? We need to go through the, uh, meadow first, Dandelion Meadow. That's where I want to, uh, get stuff from first. So let's take the bike. First we're going to, oh, oops, move the nunchuck up. All right, so first thing we want to do, though, is head down to the Gopher Underground and buy whatever that last item or two is that I wanted. We'll worry about the south path later on, but for the moment we need to go do this and then we're going to go to Dandelion Meadows tonight and scavenge a bit, get the remaining stuff we need. The remaining collectibles. It's only uh, one rock and four notes, I believe, so not too much to worry about. So we've done all the refreshments and now we just need the last bit of furniture. Or, no, it's not furniture, it's, uh, is it decorations? Oh 
oh man, we have almost enough. Tabletop vase and the wall lights. I'm just going to sell something to afford that. Because that's really, really close. I'm going to sell an egg. And some apples. There we go. Now we can afford it because apples are really, really easy to get because they're right there in the barnyard. Oh, crap. There's still party lights and... Never mind then. Uh, I think I was looking in the wrong thing. It must have been somewhere else. we still got all the furniture stuff to buy. What about refreshments? I think that's what we finished, right? Okay, that is what we finished. That's good. Hmm. It smells like something's burning in my house. That's probably not a good thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's probably not a good thing. Anyway, now we're out of money, but we at least uh, bought a few things for the uh, Knight's Barn. I don't know why I was thinking that was everything for that category. Okay, so since we've got a lot of night to kill right now, we could just go sleep it off, but I say we do something productive and grab everything in... Dandelion Meadow. Dun, dun, dun. If we go up to the top of Ben's Hill, we'll find Ben up there playing music, so that's kind of cool, I guess. I guess it's my mom uh, making Christmas dinner because it's Christmas Eve today, so I guess that they're making, uh, making dinner for tomorrow or getting the rest of the preparations done for it. Oh, I love that. Eat lots of food. Alright, we're going to get our first note. Oh crap, I didn't mean to skip through it that fast, guys. I apologize for that. That's one note. And a rock. I think this is the only rock here. What's it for? Melon juice. Yeah, I mean, watermelons are good. I just don't know how good it would be in juice. Miss Beattie is convinced that there is something going on at our farm. Luckily, Mr. Beattie thinks she is crazy. Very fortunate. That's two notes. Where's the other two? There's one up there. I'm not sure where the fourth one is. That's three. Or that... Maybe that's it. I don't know. I thought there was one more somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yep, I knew it. I knew there was another one. Come on. Oh, crap. I keep skipping through it because it's like not picking up the first time I try to read it. Well, at least that's everything in Dandelion Meadow. So, all those collectibles are done. Uh, let's see if we have a gold rush token. I can't remember if I have one right now. Yep, here's Ben playing us some music. And we do have a gold rush token. We might have two, but I'm just going to use one. It would be really cool if, like, they had made a feature to where if you had multiple Gold Rush tokens in, you, you could put them all in at once and then get, like, double or triple or however many times the amount you would normally get because you would put in more coins. That would actually be really cool. But, I mean, obviously they're not going to, like, patch this game or something ten years later. I mean, I don't even think it could be patched, but still. All right, let's pick up all of our money. We desperately need this, too, because we're kind of running low on money. And we've got it. All right, guys. Well, I don't know if we have another Gold Rush token, but I don't really think there's any point of going all the way back up there for it. Just to check, so... Let's just head on back into the barnyard and sleep the rest of the night. Well, actually, no, wait, he's not. I don't think either of those items gave us anything, so... Let's sleep. So we got the rock and four notes. Next place we're going to search is the South Path, but it only has one rock, which is not bad. The rest of it's notes. Alright, guys, let's roll. I probably shouldn't be wearing a sweatshirt right now because it's actually really warm in here, but I had to walk out for a few minutes earlier. 
All right, we can't yet go to the Walnut Woods path yet. We won't be going there until a little bit later. So let's open up the South Path. So let me just check. There are one, two, three, six notes on this path, which is not too bad. Six notes and one rock. So I say we go ahead and grab those before we do anything else. Did you know that the Jersey Cows have been stealing the BD car at night to go for joy rides? I did not, even though you would know that if you have like seen the movie. And we'll be dealing actually with that later on because you're gonna be doing like five freaking joy rides in the game. They force you to do like four or five races or joy rides and stuff. I think it's even like a mission at one point that you have to do something related to that. <laughs> kind of funny actually. Uh, there are plenty of walnut trees along the walnut woods path and they're used in quite a few recipes, that is true. All right, before we go on, though, into the next section, make sure there's not one on the back of those trees. Nope, all right, but here's one. Uh, Root says that he was champion darts player when he was a young rooster, and we're going to be dealing with him later on. What do you want, Pecky? This chickens don't fly. Um, chickens don't fly, Peck. I can if you launch me. I've got it all set up. It's going to be great. To launch me, hold down B, pull back the Wii Remote, and release B, then use the control stick. This game can be difficult, and sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. So yeah, it can be difficult, but it isn't always, so we'll see how it goes. Launch. I think I, I recognize this music. I don't know. I think it might have been like Mozart or something or one of them. I don't remember what it's called though or I choose not to actually. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I also choose to forget that stuff because over the summer when I took a course, like a summer course, it was like a gen ed requirement that satisfied a couple of requirements, but it was like music and something. It was really stupid because it required like learning about like old music and stuff, like classical music and such. So it was not fun. Oops. That didn't go right. Uh, we may be having to redo this. Yeah, we still got a B, which actually is kind of surprisingly good. Uh, beginner chicken launch high score is 182, so it's 150 for a star. All right, we can do that. That was my own kind of fault. I was getting a little distracted talking and all, but I'm also singing because that music could be copyrighted, even though I'd be a little surprised if it actually is. I would think that's in public domain by now, because that was like hundreds of years ago. That was so cool. We got to do it again sometime. All right. Sounds good. Uh, we are going to do that again right now, actually, as soon as I can find the where the mission spawns at. I think it, like, spawns up here or something. It's kind of weird. Uh, Root says that the Nightborn will get more and more popular as it gets more stuff in it, obviously. I would hope that's obvious. Like, of course things are going to be more popular the more stuff they have. And there's the recipe rock. There's a gold rush token over there. Mike says that when you're defending the vegetable patch, it's always good to pick up the raccoons and throw them out. Iced water. And the last note in the area. What is Wild Mike? Nobody knows exactly, but he sure can dance. That's kind of funny, actually. All right, I can't remember what Otis is going to have us do this time because we can't yet go onto the golf course. So what's he going to want from us? Oh, he is going to want us to play golf. Okay, it's simple. Uh, I'll deal with the controls when we get into the game. You're going to be playing through, like, five different golf games. You're going to be playing the back nine and the front nine, which we're doing the front nine right now. Then we'll play the back nine. Then we'll play the full 18. Then we will play... Oh, this music's actually kind of cool, though. And then we have to play precision golf on the front and back, but we don't have to play it on the full course, fortunately. Okay, so the goal of Gopher Golf is to get the ball in in as few shots as possible, or more importantly, though, without running out of time. A hole in one that way gets you... Uh, an extra life in case you've run out of time. Now, go for golf. I always found it to be kind of stupid because, and I really hope I don't hit my camera doing this because this is a really awkward position. But anyway, I always thought that go for golf was kind of stupid because it's like 
all the cows have to do or the other farm animals have to do is just get the ball somewhere on the green and then the gophers do it everything else for you. Which I always thought was kind of weird for this because that means like it doesn't take any skill whatsoever. Or it takes very little skill because all you have to do is just swing the remote like I do. Oh, go in, go in! Yeah, baby! Hole in one! As long as I don't do anything too stupid, I'll be fine. The front nine really isn't that difficult, though, which is good. For the most part, it isn't that bad. It's only the back nine that's a problem. Because the back nine is, like, way different. It's not an actual golf course. It's just jury-rigged to be in, like, people's backyards and stuff. It's kind of funny, actually. All right. Go for bounce. Do, 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 do. We're in the hole. All right. This is a pretty nice golf course, though. I think it's nicer than the one in my uh, hometown. I'd have to get Payne's opinion on that, I guess. And three hole-in-ones. Wow, this is actually better than I normally do. I rarely ever get that many hole-in-ones. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to hit it that low. I hit it a little slower there, but it's okay because we got it right on this path, so it's... Not that big a deal. Of course it manages to hit the one rock that's in the way. But that's okay because this is where it would normally start at. And I never get a hole in one on this one anyway. So I was hoping it was going to hit a little closer to the hole. Come on, go in. Almost. Just walk it on in. And we're in. A third of the time. Yeah, precision golf though is based around the number of shots it takes you to get in. We won't play that until much later in the game, though, so we don't have to worry about that just yet. But for now, we're stuck playing this, and then we'll have to play the back nine and then the full 18, which is quite time-consuming. And it's kind of funny because even in precision golf, hitting the ball like out of bounds like that isn't even a stroke. It's really, really funny. Like, it doesn't count against you is what I'm trying to say, which I always thought was really funny. Because I think it does in real golf, you know, strict rules of golf, Goldfinger. And we're in. Hole 8, we're near the end. This is probably the toughest hole of the front nine. Alright, uh, I may not have gotten that one at 100% power, so... Come on. Ah, perfect. Well, at least I got it over that section. But now you have to deal with it going up and down these annoying little hill thingies. Come on, go for it. Throw it up further. Oh, crap. And then, for whatever stupid reason, though, you can't, like, climb up the tree trunk part, I guess that is. Because that's kind of what it looks like. I don't really even know. All right, we're up. We got this now. Just be nice and careful so it doesn't go off the edge by accident. And we got it. it took about half the time, but that's perfectly okay. We're going to have extra lives, so that's really going to help the final score. And I've done really well this time around on this course. I mean, I don't usually get that many hole-in-ones. Now, it's pretty much impossible to get a hole-in-one on the back nine, except for the first hole, because of the way it's set up. Yeah, that wasn't where I was aiming. Now, that grass wouldn't technically be out of... Where'd it go? Oh, wow, I hit, like, a freaking invisible wall or something because it bounced so high up in the air. That was kind of cool, actually. All right, you gophers better throw it in the right direction. Good gopher. You're like the Caddyshack gopher, sort of. Probably not. I didn't know gophers could swim like this. Anyway, and we're done with the front nine. So, a few more rounds of golf left in the game. Man, 636 points. Man, we beat Otis by 200 points, guys. Two freaking hundred. Unfortunately, playing golf also, like, pretty much ends the day, which is kind of weird. Couldn't have done it without the Gophers. That was some mighty fine golf, and you can come down here and play anytime you want. Catch you later, even though we still do not have the key to the golf course. Oh, Chapter 3! Coyote season. The raccoon.
Bird School. Coyote season. Coyotes are bad, bad, dangerous out. Ben told everyone to be careful. Only the bear didn't hurt any of it. He was too busy checking out another new rabbit. A sweet young cow by the name of Daisy. Aw, Otis is in love with the new cow. That's so sweet. Alright, I think the mission is all the way over at the pond, but it's already almost night, so yeah. What's going on, Pip? Who's the Barnyard Champion? Nice! We are in fourth place with nine wins, or nine stars. A gold rush token for me. Alright guys, so here's what's going to happen. Oh, uh, in this in-game night, I'm probably going to go do all three of those gold rush tokens just so you guys don't have to watch it because I know it's not like the most interesting thing in the world. So that's what I'm gonna do in like the break between videos and I mean, hope that's gonna be convenient or more convenient for everyone. So I think that'll be it for this video. Next time we will go back to that uh, chicken launch game and get the star in it. And then I don't know what we'll do after that. So see you guys then.